Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be addressing some of the questions from my viewers and to answer some of the common issues when you're using this Unifan controller. Before I proceed, for those of you who are actually new, welcome to my channel. You might have questions for me, but before you do so, I did a series of videos based on this control unit. You might want to have a look and check it out. Now, the content on the videos are based on do's and don'ts, the limitation on this control unit itself, the connection on how you connect this unit fan to your motherboard, and to make use of the application called L-Connect, and to do the uh, push-pull configuration, whereby you have fans that is separated in between the uh, radiator, and how do you actually connect this to the controller itself. And last but not least, the uh, airflow on this SL120 based on the ca case airflow and the uh, static pressure on the radiator itself. I will leave the video playlist at the top right hand corner. Just a brief introduction of this unit and what cable that comes with this unit. It comes with three cable. This is actually the uh, USB connector whereby I have actually connected to my motherboard to the unit. This is actually a power source whereby it drains the power from your power supply through SATA and to connect the uh, power source straight to your unit. And last but not least, this cable here whereby if you want to bypass the control on the uh, Unifan control and to make use of the motherboard ARGB and the fan RPMs. Now I'm not going to go into details. If you want to know more how I actually connect the unit to the uh, system itself, right? you can actually check on the video I've made I will leave the uh, video URL on the top right hand corner, click on it and check it out. Now I'm just going to go with the first issue whereby um, you purchase the unit and you have actually downloaded the uh, L Connect application, which I'm going to show you later. And when you connect to this unit, right, it doesn't detect on your system. So how do I actually go by um, fixing this issue? Now, first of all, I'm just going to disconnect this. I'm going to show you on my desktop. Now on your desktop, right, what you will need to do is actually you go to the device manager. You can actually highlight on this computer or should I say this PC, do a right click and click on manage and you will take you to a window whereby it says computer manager management. Or you can actually highlight on the start button, do a right click and click on device manager. It will take you to this page here. Now do take note that at the end here, universal serial bus controller. Now, you will need to actually install the uh, L Connect application before you do this. So once you have done that right, on the unit itself, if you were to plug the USB cable to the unit, which is connected to your motherboard, as you can see on my desktop, it flickers. You will notice that there is this universal serial bus devices, whereby it says Lian Ni. So this proof set is connected. So you can actually sync up whatever you've connected to this unit and to make use of the L-Connect application to control your fans, um, ARGBs and the fans RPM. Now, if you do not see this right, do not panic. I know that you actually installed the uh, application, but when you connect to the cable itself, right, it doesn't work. So how do I actually rectify this issue? In fact, from a very start, I would advise you not to um, download the L-Connect application first. Get your system running first. As in, if you're using Intel, right? right? Let me explain this to you what this is. Now, if you're using Intel uh, processor, right? There is this thing called chipset INF. And what does this do? It basically control, or should I say, manage all the chipset on your system itself, all the hardware, and to provide them the correct address. Let me just show you over here under USB. Now, all the USB over here, right, they are assigned with the appropriate ports. As you can see here, right, you see, location, port 0003. And if I were to do another one, which is this, see, 004. Okay, let me just show you here. See, 0304 and others, which is actually zero, zero, um, zero 023. Now, why do I actually need to actually download this um, chipset INF, right? Is to actually update 
all the uh, communication port to run smoothly on your system itself. So if you're an Intel user, right, download this application, you will see that there's this icon over here that says Intel Driver and Support Assistant. When you double click on it, right, it will show you this page whereby it will tell you that oh, all the chipset, all the uh, USB uh, IOs and such will be installed properly with this stated all up to date. Now for AMD user, right, similarly, you will have to actually download the INF chipset file to install to your Windows OS. So in order for all the USB port to work properly and smoothly, and some of you are actually not aware of this, um, be it whether Intel or AMD, you just use the computer, you install the OS and thought that everything will run smoothly. But sad to say that when you plug on this unit, right, it doesn't work. So this is how you actually can do the basic troubleshooting. And I would strongly advise to install the um, INF chipset either on the AMD. This is actually AMD. This is actually on the Intel. I will leave the uh, URL in my description. You can actually just proceed on depending on what processor you used. So after this, right, try again. Go to the manager. Or should I say device manager. So when you do the connection, it will pop up. See? So this is actually how you rectify the issue itself. And of course, on some cases, right, whereby you did the uh, patches on Intel or AMD with the INF uh, chipset drivers, and you're still unable to actually connect. On the uh, Lenly website itself, right, it does have these drivers over here, which I'm going to show you. Um, where is it? Oh, over here. So sometimes you need to actually update your application, which is actually the L Connect. Let me just show you. This is actually the L Connect. Now, sad to say that Lenny itself, right, does not have an update um, function on this application itself. So you need to actually off and on check out on the website, see what are the fixes. And there is another L Connect fix whereby you use other ARGB controllers and such along with the uh, Unify controller. So there is a fix for this. And another bonus point whereby I will actually guide you through, if you do scroll down on the website itself, right, there's this section whereby it said to actually load when it's actually, uh, when your OS is, is actually loaded. So this is actually all the instructions that you can actually um, set this L Connect to load during the boot up itself. In front of you, in fact, I've actually connected the SL120 fans to this controller itself. This is actually output 1, this is output 3. Now, a shout out to Charlie Herat. You have actually asked me a question whereby you have connected this fans on the controller itself. Well, it does light up, the fan does respond, but the thing is that when you do the controlling on the L Connect itself, the lights doesn't respond, neither do the fan respond. So you might want to actually check, as I mentioned before, that have you actually um, done the chipset INF installation? Probably that will solve your issue. Now, the next question coming from Ricky Dosh Santos Jr. You have actually asked me, can I actually show you how to set the uh, fan curve on the device itself? Because you connect these fans on your radiator to supply the static pressure on your radiator. So I'll show you how. Having to say so, right, let me just take you to the desktop. As you can see here, there are two applications that have actually loaded. First is actually the A-tuning, which is actually to control the fan using my motherboard. This is actually an application from ASRock. And the second one is actually the Lenny L Connect. I'll show you on the L Connect itself. As you can see here, right, this is output one, this is output three. So if I were to control the lightings itself, let's say I select to output one, I can set to static colors and output three will remain. If you were to apply to all, right, both will react. Oh, let me just set it to static. Apply to all, see, this will react. Now for the fan RPMs itself, right, as you notice over here, output one and output three, they are actually on quiet. This 
all these function here, quiet, high speed, full speed, and manual, is in fact making use of the L Connect application itself. So let's say, for example, I select to output one, I set to high speed, and I apply, this will react. And you'll see that the RPM, right, it will be going up. See? Else, output three will remain 780 RPM, which is actually on quiet. See, if I have to switch the profile from one to three, this is high speed, this is quiet. Now, let me just set back everything to the default first. And so I'm going to explain on the PWM itself. Okay, having to say so, right? Now, let's say, for example, you want um, output one and output two, or should I say output three? to follow the PWM, which is actually on your motherboard itself, whereby you make use of this application. Mine is actually the ASRock um, A-Tuning application, whereby I can, I can actually control the PWM fan curve. <clears throat> so if you do set to PWM and you apply all, right? If I were to do any selection over here, as you can see, the RPM is actually hitting full, which is max speed. And no matter how I change the RPM over here or the fan curve over here when I apply, be it 50%, 80% or such, the RPM doesn't change at all. So having you say so, right, probably might say that, oh, it doesn't sing. That's right. Now, I'm just going to show you that you will need to do something on your BIOS before you can actually control your fan curve. Now, going to the BIOS various from different motherboard, I will have to actually press delete key. Some motherboard right you will need to actually click on or should I say tap on the F2 keys now in fact this is actually known as the UEFI or BIOS whereby you can actually control your hardware components on the motherboard itself so as I mentioned right the fan itself is not reacting reason being right because as you can see here I've actually select hardware monitor so when I scroll down right I know that the uh, L connect PWM cable is actually connected to my fan header, which is actually the chassis tree. Or should I say the chassis fan tree? Now, as you can see here, this is actually selected to DC mode. Let me see if I could actually zoom as zoom in this for you. See, this is a uh, chassis fan tree. This is actually on DC mode. I will need to switch this to PWM. Once you have done that, right, save the profile, reboot the system, and I'll show you that this function will work. Now back to where I am. As mentioned, I've actually set the uh, chassis tree, or this, I should say the chassis fan tree over here. This was actually connected, meaning to say the um, PWM cable, right, is connected to the motherboard header which is actually chassis fan tree. Now, having you say so, right, see on PWN, take a look at the uh, RPMs over here. Right now, if I am to control the RPMs itself and to apply, see, it does react and it's going down. So having you say so, right, I can actually just set it down. See, it will just go down. It's reacting because you're on PWM mode, which is actually connected to chassis fan tree. So this is actually to resolve the issue whereby you're not able to actually use the fan curve on this application, or should I say your motherboard application to set the uh, fan curve. So I'm just going to repeat here again. If I were to set the fan to 80% and I click apply, see, your fan will react the RPM. Now, something to take note that you are not able to set individual PWM. Reason being, right, these fans here are connected to the unit and the unit itself is only taking one instruction from the PWM cable that you have connected to your motherboard. So, if you were to connect all the outputs with all the fans with in this unit itself, right, it will only take one instruction. So, no matter what you select over here, it doesn't work individually as in like to do the individual fan curve. So do take note on this. See, if I were to do 
low RPMs, I click on it, apply, see, the RPM will go down on your L-Connect. And this is actually how you monitor the RPMs of the fans. And you have to go up, you will follow. See, it reacts. I hope with this video, it will help my viewers and to all those people who is actually having problem with this unifan to be detected on their motherboard and to use the PWN function. With this said, right, I thank to all my viewers who have actually posted questions regarding about this. Thank you very much. Now, I do have other videos to do, which is actually the EK360 AIO Elite and also the placement of radiator in my current case, which is actually the O11D Mini. If you guys like my content, do remember to subscribe and to hit on the notification bell. Till then, take care, see you, goodbye.